and welcome to NTP. Today I'm going to tell you the three different ways you can become a qualified transport manager. First of all, in order to be a nominated transport manager on an operator licence issued by the Traffic Commissioner, you would need to pass an examination to prove you are sufficiently competent. This is the Level 3 Certificate of Professional Competence for Transport Manager Qualification in either Road Haulage, HGV, or Passenger Transport, PSV. Whichever you choose completely depends on the transport sector you wish to work. You would need to learn the relevant information that could be tested in the examination. This is the Transport Manager course. There is more than one examination board that provides the examinations, which differ slightly in their style. However, the syllabus from which the contents of the course is derived is similarly the same. Courses vary. Buying just a home study pack with written materials, online courses, some with support, some without, to intensive classroom based courses. So let's take a look at the three different options you have to gain your transport manager qualification. First of all, we have the home study. This is commonly known as a home study pack. And this study method provides you with a pack filled with course syllabus and practice papers. The home study pack is the cheapest way to study. However, you'll be going it alone with no tutor support. It also relies on the provider sending you with updates as and when the legislation or the syllabus changes. The home study pack method is good for those who have a really clear understanding already and are confident in their ability to pass without any student support. Next up, classroom training. This method has been favoured by companies all over the UK and this method is normally provided by way of an intensive seven or ten day course spread out over a number of weeks. It's great if you want to learn everything quickly, however the pass rate isn't extraordinary and it's no surprise. The Transport Manager CPC is a large course, it's packed with information that you must know. To remember everything you need to and to have a clear understanding in such a short space of time can be difficult. This doesn't mean that the classroom training isn't good, in fact quite the opposite. You have a trainer on hand every day to ask questions that you need to. You get full tutor support during your training and you go straight into your exams. It can, however, be information overload for some. It really depends on you. When the courses are spread out over a number of weeks, this risk increases. Are you really going to remember what was said in lesson one six weeks ago? This method is good for those who already have a really clear understanding and who want to pass quickly, but this method is difficult for most. It's intense, the days are long and the work is hard. And remember, you'll also be sharing the trainer with others on the course. Lastly is online training. Until 2017, this method of training didn't exist. It was us at NTP who introduced this to the industry when we launched our new Transport Manager CPC course, and it really took the industry by storm. This method of training gives you access to an online version of the Transport Manager CPC course, along with full tutor support, practice tests and quizzes, and provides an interactive learning experience. Of course, we favour this method, and for really good reason, our pass rate is 87%, which far exceeds the national average of only 53%. Online training gives you the flexibility to study where you want and when you want, meaning you can complete the qualification at your own pace, be that quickly or slowly. You also benefit from full tutor support, marked quizzes, tutor feedback, course notes and much more. This method is great for those that want to have the best learning experience and increase their chances of passing first time. It's great for those who are new to the industry and also those who are more experienced. It really does cater for all. If you want a course that brings together all the benefits of all the course options, then this method is the one we'd recommend. Oh, and you can also take your SILT exams online. So there you have it, the three different ways you can become a qualified transport manager. As you can see, each method has its own pros and cons, and the route you take depends entirely on your preference. 
NTP offers a full Transport Manager CPC study course, and I'll post the information about this in the description. Our YouTube channel is also full of helpful information videos that will tell you more about the Transport Manager and even provide you with some training. So check out our channel and remember to like and subscribe. I really hope you found this video useful and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.